Sometimes in Race for the Galaxy, you just need to diversify. Find out what that looks like here on Legendary Tactics. So we are playing the hard AI here on using the Steam app on Legendary Tactics, and I'm starting off with a blue, uh, blue world, and. Uh, Sometimes in a game of uh, Race for the Galaxy, you just got to branch out. You just got to roll with what the cards give you. And uh, and sometimes that really uh, is you're putting your uh, hands in a lot of different pies. So right off the hop here, I've got uh, got some brown uh, military worlds. I got a lot of one banger worlds. Uh, my dilemma was Expedition Force. It, it's, uh, it's one to play. Um, and I get the one... Uh, the one military op which would allow me to get all three of those worlds on kind of went with that option uh, the other one was a two op but I would have lost one of the worlds so right away I thought okay I'm gonna play the op I'm gonna get down one of those military worlds uh, I am uh, very aware that Earth's lost colony is going to uh, drain that uh, that card as a resource if uh, for, for VPs if I'm not careful so I want to definitely get that card uh, I want to play another military world and get the uh, cards from the runaway robots. So there we go. I'm gonna get my three uh, three card draw. Uh, looking up at the uh, hard AI, he's got a uh, brown uh, windfall world and uh, development, and the the zero uh, the zero op card there that gets some two VPs and uh, and uh, has to r r r uh, remove all his uh, his his cards from his worlds when uh, the VPs are picked. Uh, so we're gonna get down fuel cash right away. There, we're gonna get uh, another uh, another one of the uh, military worlds down. I do have a th another green, the last of the uplift uh, garage card there for uh, the military world, so I can get the green down there for some more card draw. So right away, my hand is is pretty flush with cards, which is great, giving me a lot of uh, a lot of options here. And right away, replicant robots is kind of standing out to me. I got a lot of worlds in hand. And uh, getting replicant worlds down uh, would be a really good idea. I can uh, then start really looking into uh, mashing through some worlds. So right away here, I've got a bit of, a bit of military going. I've got now some cheap uh, wor worlds uh, that I can use with the non-military world. So spice worlds going in there. And uh, another blue. So I am a little bit blue heavy. I got some browns in there as well. And some windfalls, some... Uh, some regular worlds, so it's a really kind of, we've got a real mixed bag here, but uh, like I said from the onset, sometimes you got to diversify out, you got to go a little military, you got to go a little uh, replicant robots, and uh, make your uh, your regular worlds cheaper as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plan to drop another world, and uh, also uh, going to go with the new earth, so uh, the, the brown world. And that will also allow me to, uh, when I uh, cash out a world, I can also uh, be able to get a card along with the VP there. So I don't have great VP uh, ability. Uh, I've got the uh, the Earth's Lost Colony giving me the one VP cash out as long as, long as, as well as the uh, the new Earth. So well, a little bit of there, but we're going to get a lot of a lot of cards down, which is kind of nice with that. So. I'm really I'm looking at those yellows now, and I am kind of licking my chops because uh, just a lot of VPs with the yellows, of course. So that is kind of nice. I am noticing too that the hard AI is motoring right along with me here, where our tableaus are, are four cards out from being f filled right up, uh, as well as our VP pool being drained all the way down to 11. So time is getting kind of tight here. Um, I want to do one more card draw. I want to get that uh, deserted alien library down now. Interesting, because now we got some developments that we can drop down. I'm going to put the, um, the space marines down. Uh, I'm going to try to get myself positioned into getting that lost alien battle fleet, but uh, I don't think it's going to work, so I'll just ditch it. Uh, it did get me a VP there, the space marines, and... In the meantime, I can get five more cards out of that deserted alien library, which is kind of nice. Another card. Oh, and there's a tourist world. So interesting here, uh, because if I can get, if I can get through this round, I've got tourist world there that I could drop down, get a lot of. Uh, I'll get, be getting a lot of uh, planets uh, uh, with cards on, and uh, potentially there I could get a big VP payout if I can actually get through this next round here. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna hope that. Uh, 
he, I know, in draining the pool is going to be pretty much impossible here, so we're, we'll be safe there. I'm going to save that last, uh, that last space that it can't play it anyway, so that's fine. And drip some cards. It looked like ten. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to populate some worlds here. Get a lot of worlds populated. And now for the final play here. So definitely want to do a scoring. I'm kind of thinking of using that, uh, getting that consumer markets down. That uh, might hit me three there. Uh, and also give me, th so it gives me three VPs. So we can draw something nice. Nothing really of interest. Uh, so probably kind of leaning towards the consumer markets. Get that one in. And between that one and, uh, of course, the tourist world, I can score out a lot of... Uh, so it's going to be close here. We're here at 28. Oh, yeah, we've got this one. This We've got this one well in hand here. Um, the hard AI uh, doesn't stand a chance here. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be blowing this one out of the water. This game, this is great. So, with another six VP coming in. Oh, there it is, forty. Okay, just broke the forty threshold. Not a bad score. Not a bad score. Um, but you can see in that hand there, there was a lot of diversification. Really spread out the cards. Um, and, and the different co world colors try to uh, just kind of you take what the uh, they give you there with the what your hands dealt and uh, make the best of it I uh, got some yellow worlds got the brown got the a lot of blues going and uh, overall a very uh, decisive win there so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed that hope you uh, gained a little insight into how you can stay diversified and go military and uh, regular world draw here on Legendary Tactics.